Hey guys, today we're gonna to check out a really big remodeled home, two levels, really big views all the way into town. We're in Kula Kai, which is a neighborhood pretty close to town, but still like Kona country. Um, it's really cool. It's one of those really cool areas that we have here where it's a mix of old Kona and new Kona. The views are incredible. We got a pool, we got a knocked out kitchen in this one. Uh, a big house, lots and lots of space on this one. This is listed by Gabe Winkler over at Compass. Big thank you to him for letting us bring this to you. I'm Mike Drew, our principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty. I'm gonna look in this house, tell you my three favorite things about it, and the one thing I would change or add if this was mine. Let's get going. Okay guys, so we are at the top of Kula Kai subdivision. This is a nice big lot. I'm gonna put the acreage down below. So you can see that now. Nice little walkway going up to more area. You just got some yard space up there. Uh, huge driveway parking area. We got a three car garage, two cars plus one car. Check out this monkey pod tree, holy cow. That thing is impressive. There's a lot of really big trees over here. Massive royal palms. Wow, so this home has been uh, remodeled, updated, and they've put a lot into this. There's still a couple things here and there that they're doing, so you may see a few things uh, along the way as they're putting some finishing touches on things. We have a metal roof, fully guttered. You can see we got our solar hot water he heater over there. Three car garage, like I mentioned, connected all the way to the house with the common breezeway. There is an Ohana in the back. We're not gonna be able to see that today, but we're gonna see the house and this is what really matters nice rock wall work out here in front two foot by two foot basalt tile entryway looks gorgeous and then we have that basalt with a wood trim and an inlay of wood all around it great looking i don't know if this is either uh mahogany or uh that other one that's just like mahogany i keep blanking on it all the time maybe it'll come to me here later in the video we got these Ohia posts coming in here as well. And then double door entry. I'm gonna kick my shoes off with the glass panels, really sharp. And then right here into the house, giant pocket sliders across the way, taking in the view. We got a cruise ship in today. And uh, I'll walk right out here just to give this view to you so you guys can see where we are. So we are perched high above the rest of the subdivision. This is a pretty nice view. Kulakai is off, uh, I always say it wrong, Hino Loli Road down below, which is an old country road. There's a lot of uh, little neighborhoods off this road that people really love. It's a super desirable area to be. It's a great elevation. It's close to town. It's still quiet. It's still country. Those are the things people like about it. This lot, all this area that you see Right down here is all part of this lot. The property line follows right along there and then over and then here. You actually have this curvy serpentine drive up here because we are so high, so steeply above that you have to actually have, the, have that curve in the driveway to make it up here. But boy, the reward is that you are really up here and it is gorgeous. So right into Kailua town, like I mentioned the cruise ship, all the way down towards, I can see Lyman's Point just a little bit beyond there. And then panning over to the right, Honokohau Harbor, well, Old Airport Beach Park, Honokohau Harbor, Honokohau National Historical Park, and then all the way at the point where the airport is. Uh, next to us on the side, we have an empty lot, could get built on. Someone's probably gonna build a house there eventually. I believe that's about an acre as well. Um, so yeah, really, Really nice views way up here. This house sits prominently on the hill. I can actually uh, see it when I'm at my condo. I look up the hill, I can see this house. Um, so uh, yeah, lots of covered lanai area out here. They've really updated a lot of things. They've painted the exterior, of course. Uh, really nice. We got a lower level. We got a splash pool down there. Of course, we're gonna check that out for you as well. I like these light sconces that we have here. On the exterior, we've got louvers up above, but honestly, I mean, I guess you could use those even 
have those open even when the house is closed up and you have these closed, but most of the time I think you're gonna have these open. These are hand made, so you can push these in here, hit that button, it comes out, you pull it open, we have screens, and then we have glass. So whatever you need, but for my money, I'm keeping it like this, nice and wide open, so we have lots of airflow. Windows on the other side, open those up, lots of air moving through this house. Great room is really nice. We have 18 by 36, I believe. Large format tiles down here. We have that nice mahogany baseboard and trim around all the windows. Light sconces on the other side. Looks like about 18 foot ceilings, could be a little more, but 18 to 20 foot ceilings in here. Nice large ceiling fan. Absolutely massive, really brings in a lot of space here. We got a stairway going down to our lower level, which has two more bedrooms. Uh, we're gonna check out the primary suite up here on this bed, on this level, and we'll check out the kitchen. The kitchen is so knocked out. We have a mini split system up here, high ceilings here in the bedroom, open beam, tongue and groove. We got a king size bed down here, plenty of space, fireplace, French doors leading out to that covered lanai that we were just on, lots and lots of room over here you can do whatever you want here. I mean, lots of space. I like the French door entry in too as well, so it's nice and open. They are finishing up a couple things here in the bathroom, but we're gonna show it to you anyways. We got a closet over here on the side. We got a closet where they're finishing up and putting some built-ins over here. This is a pass-through closet, so they're gonna have more going on that. And then in here we switch to an extra large format tile. It's like a spa, man. And check out this makeup station, pretty impressive with this nice, huge mirror. I think I can even turn the light on, get even more light in there. Privacy door here to the toilet for the water closet. And you have a sink in here. And then let's pull out. We have dual basin sink with that same quartz countertop and Really nice, I like these mirrors with all this light coming off of them. Looks absolutely stunning. Nice light, fi light fixtures up above. And again, these large, these are like four foot by four foot tiles. Gorgeous, and then I like the work that they've done on this back wall. We got the wavy tiles, then a band of like a smooth travertine look, and then wave tiles up above the freestanding tub and black fixture on that, black faucet, really nice. And then coming around, they're doing a little bit of more work out here, but you have an exterior area. It looks like they're putting in maybe a hot tub or a water feature over there. We'll let them finish that up. And here into our shower, dual shower heads. So you got the wand, which is really nice. There's your faucet to turn everything on. And then the rain head up above. Looking at 12 by 24, I believe, horizontally placed tiles. I mean, this thing looks like a spa, guys. Really, really great. And then we continue around. Here's the pass-through on the other side of that walk-through closet. And then back here to the primary. A lot of space here in the primary. I like that they're finishing that out with a, a really good storage unit. I'm sorry, a really good built-in unit in the, uh, in the closet. And then continuing on up here, so we have, real quick, I'll show you, we have a powder room. Great, everything that you need. But then the kitchen, they've got some really nice things going on in here. Kitchen is huge, open. Very spacious, lots of countertops. Dual islands, check that out. How often do you see a true dual island? So we got our waterfall here with seating for four, really nice, and waterfall on the other side, of course. And then on this one, we have our quartz countertops as well, and wood cabinets down below. Oh, a lot of times this is, uh, Still steel or aluminum, they did that. 
in wood with the knobs coming through on this Wolf five burner grill. So lots of storage between these two islands. Really gorgeous pendant lights here, looks great. And then let's just kind of work our way around. We have huge, large glass, plate glass windows outside taking in that incredible view. And then check out this table. This is an epoxy table. They got the wood, they put the wood pieces in, they fill it in with epoxy. It takes a long time to let it cure. This is a really amazing work of art. I love it, I think it looks great. The color is awesome. It's just, it's made for this place. And it is because this uh, large format tile, tile that they have along the backsplash here is gorgeous. It's got a lot of blue and green in there. It looks great. It's popping a little bit more on camera than it does in person. Um, so don't let that scare you. Sometimes the cameras just oversaturate the colors. Um, it looks great, but it's not crazy color like it might be coming through on camera. And then back here at the side, I'm going to start here on my left. Lots of cabinets. So we got our beverage cooler, cabinets, and take a look at these. Dovetail joints, soft clothes, nice modern black handles, great cabinets up above, wine station for your wine glasses and your wine bottles. Continuing on, we got our stainless steel dishwasher, large single basin sink, nice bay window that we have here trimmed out in wood with more lights that can come on right here. You never know which one is the disposal. Ah, that was a different light. Oh, that's, there we go. We've got all of our lights on now without making the noise of a disposal running. Great job on that. Spinning around a little bit more. Oh, we got some undermount lights there. That's nice. I didn't even notice that. I'm glad I turned this on. We're going to start over back here, guys. With our undermount lights, undermount lights, this comes out even better. Kitchen aid <laughs> over here on our oven and our microwave. Uh, Sub-Zero counter depth refrigerator, nice, brand new, still has uh, plastic, still smells new, awesome on that. And then uh, over here, uh, I guess you can call this a pantry or storage, nice little beverage station, prep area, really nice, and we see those full tiles there. I really love it. That tile is really stunning. We have ourselves Dining area, breakfast nook, whatever you want to call it. Over here, access out to the lanai. Continuing on, built-ins over here in our utility. And we still have like the nice cabinets. We didn't go cheap on these cabinets. We still have the quartz countertops. Uh, this is our breezeway going out to our garage, our three-car garage, and a washer and dryer. Let's see, get out here real quick. Now, there's a lot of stuff in this garage because they are still working on the house with a few things here and there, so you're going to see a lot of construction stuff. But this three-car garage is a legit-sized three-car garage, guys. Look at all that storage up above. There's tons of stuff you could do up there. I could see someone lofting that and just adding, just putting a floor up there, a, sub, a floor, so that you could, you know, put a ton more storage up there if that's what you needed. Okay, guys, so we got access to the Ohana, mother-in-law, ADU, whatever you want to call it, over here behind the garage. And I'm glad we did because this impresses. So keep it as a caretaker's area. Um, there are some things that you can do with this. Uh, we can talk about that if you want, give me a call. Nice high ceilings. I like the dark gray walls. It's, it looks great. You have this Living area here, so you got like a living space with your kitchenette, excellent. Got a gas hot plate type. I mean, this is, this is a stove top, awesome. Bamboo cabinets, mini fridge. We got a sink, cabinets up above, little storage area. So this is awesome little pad here. And then we come in here, full sink, come around. Toilet, shower, everything that you need. 12 by 24, nice like basalt look, uh, tile vertically placed with the white grout lines. Looks really sharp. Down below, didn't even point that out. 
We have a luxury vinyl. I think this is the same vinyl that we have on the lower level of the main house. Looks great. Quartz countertops on here. Nice with a waterfall edge. I mean, they've done really great. We transition to carpet and we come back here and you have a bed. Like, holy smokes. And a loft storage area up above. Like, how cool is that? So really cool. Like, so you could actually have, you know, mom and dad down here. And if you got little ones, that are nice and young, uh, but still able to go up the, the ladder. You can have that as like a little play area. Super cool. High ceilings in here. Carpet feels great. Uh, really great job on this. So this is like your fourth bedroom plus a true guest suite with like everything that you need in here. I mean, it brings in so much light from the outside. Some people are going to be like, oh, it's got dark gray walls. You don't feel like it's closed in. You have so much light coming in from all these windows that it looks great. And you walk right out the, the French doors and there's your view into town. There's the main house, the kitchen over there. So nice setup, really good addition that they put on here for this one. Hope you like it. One thing also, also that's really cool on this one, on this house, is this uh, wraparound lanai that we have here. So I showed you that we had the lanai, but I didn't show you that it wraps all the way around the house on this side. I think it also goes around the other side as well. So yeah, kind of nice. All right, we still have to make our way downstairs and to the pool to finish this tour off. We are, there's a lot of house. Big square footage on this one. Uh, this uh, mural that they have here on the wall. It's really pretty. They did a nice job on that. All right, heading downstairs to the lower level where we have two more bedrooms and another living space. So great amount of living space, big TV on the other side and two ceiling fans in here. Pretty nice. And then check it out. Oh, bar setup over here. Almost forgot about this and there's a cool feature here in this bar. So you have seating for two here at the bar, really cool. Put kind of display things here if you like. And then over here in our bar, they did this epoxy finish on the countertops. Now we haven't seen this before, have we? Really, really cool. Super, super fun on that. We got a little prep sink. This is a great little bar setup. You can play bartender right here for everyone. This is the party level. You got your seating area, your living area here. Good work on these louvered windows. So these are obviously new. Nice big louvers, open that up. Plenty of airflow. We have a bedroom on this side. I think they got a queen size bed here. Obviously you can fit any size bed you want. We got like eight, 10 feet on that side of the room. And more on the other side, I like the bench that we got built in, a little bit of storage. Uh, doors going out to our lanai area here. Nice luxury vinyl. Wood look down below on this level looks great. Plenty of closet space over on this one. And then you have your ensuite bathroom, a slide in, nice unit with quartz countertops, like the blue color on the back wall, the round mirror, the glam light, recessed lights up above, toilet and shower, 12 by 24, horizontally placed shower tiles with the glass wall, no shower curtain, Walk straight in, keeps it nice and open. We still have another bedroom to go to. I'm gonna speed things up for you guys a little bit here. Um, oh, giant storage down here, runs like the length of this bedroom. So plenty of uh, places to put things. Good bedroom size down here as well, just like the last one. You could easily fit a king size bed. You could put two queens in here. You could put two kings in here. It's that much space. And then the same, Setup that we had over there with this closet on the side and the shower. This one has a traditional tub, a little bit darker tile on the other side, 12 by 24, horizontally placed there as well. Black fixtures. Instead of having the glass, this one does have the shower curtain because you have the tub, so that's why you can't have the glass. And the same slide-in unit that we had over on the other side. And now we're gonna back out and go outside here on this lower level. 
Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know I'm moving pretty fast here. Um, and yeah, just an awesome view from here as well. So you have a splash pool. You know, you're not gonna do laps here, but you're gonna be able to get wet, have a good time, cool off, uh, have a fun party, enjoy the view. Um, yeah, nice setup out here. We got 12, or sorry, 18 by 18 uh, travertine, or actually it's quartzite tile down below, which is really nice because you don't slip on this quartzite stuff. Still big outdoor lanai area here. So we have a lot of lanai space on this house on both levels, like a ton. There's, you could do a lot of outdoor furniture on these things, on both these uh, lanais and have all kinds of places for people to sit. You could entertain uh, a group of 50 people out here uh, if you had to without a problem. Okay, time for my three favorite things. And the one thing I would change or add if it was mine. Ooh, boy, we're gonna, there's gonna be some interesting things here. So favorite thing number one is going to be that kitchen. They did a good job. And I've seen this house in photos and it looks great, but actually seeing it in person looks even better. Um, the color pop was great. The dual islands, uh, the wood, the finishings, the whole bit. Uh, they did an excellent, excellent job uh, with that kitchen. Number two, uh, I like the work and the direction that they went on the primary bathroom. It does seem like a spa. I mean, those uh, four foot by four foot tiles, I don't know that I've seen tiles that big yet um at all i can't i think i've seen some three foot by three foot and i know i've seen some two by four two foot by four foot but i have not seen four foot by four foot and my third favorite thing about the house is going to be the view this is a really really good view you're so steeply placed above uh the neighbors below that i mean you don't hardly even see their roofs it is really nice, especially from that upper level. Um, the one thing I would change or add, hmm, you know, I think they've hit a lot of things here. I guess, you know, you can always add solar on these houses. I guess you could always add a hot tub on a house that doesn't have a hot tub and an outdoor uh, kitchen on a house that doesn't have it. But um, those are kind of the only things that uh, I can really think of on that one for a for a stuff to add. I'm not really sure. I'd like to hear what you guys think. I do, just so you guys all know, I do read the comments, the, the nice ones and the not nice ones. And though I have to say, most of you guys are awesome uh, and really nice, like 99.9%. .9%. And the ones that aren't so nice, that's okay too. Uh, I love taking the constructive feedback and I'm always looking to do things a little bit better. So you guys also inspire me as well. But you know, I love hearing what you guys write in the comments about uh, what kind of things you like and don't like about the homes, but I think there's a lot to like on this one. All right, I hope you did like it. I got more videos for you in the corner. I'll see you again real soon.